Shouldn't be too hard. Don't touch me. With pleasure. Don't burn yourself. Almost. Hey! Something over there. Making me sweat. <laughs> On my way. Seek and you shall find me. Moving. That might be worth a look.
How about this? What should I do if the Jedi takes me into question? Why? Have you anything to hide? No. But he might scour through the whole crash in his cell. Never a dull moment. Be calm. Time to press Rest. ahead. Sentries to arms! Istic! State your purpose quickly! We are aware, and it is dire. But of late, we've been distracted. Perhaps the news you bring will change Inquisitor Wawargaz's mind. Seek the Inquisitor within. Step lightly, Istik. He's not known for his lenience. I would be more concerned than excited. I heard they're making us join the patrol soon. The search must be going badly. What if they don't find the weapon? Do we even know it? Anistic? But... But you can't be here! I can't be seen with you! That's your cry! Quani Rel! The Inquisition have more to worry about than who you talk to in the corridors. Nothing, Rastil. We were only talking about what you already know. About the weapon. The one the Kifrat can't find. Uh, Quani Rel? Keep your mouth shut. You're going to get us in deep, Skva. The Kithrak is very worried about the Gake threat. Before you came here, discovering what is happening in Moonrise Towers was our main focus. We heard the Kithrak say the Inquisitor is wasting her time with this search for a weapon. We! Don't bring me into it. I know when to keep my mouth shut. Gotta respect these gif. They don't fool around. That they let outsiders into the crash sets a bad precedent. of stone and nails. I'm right, Jack. Even further. <laughs> You'd better be watching.
careful. There are traps about. Don't you want to fight with your brothers and sisters? Charmed, I'm sure. Fighting a battle already. It's not even born yet. Robes will get dirty. To new horizons. Pigs a fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. Havrilk! Your future is now! You can tell Kithrak Therazin that my position has not changed. The egg requires more time. Furthermore... Oh. I was not expecting an istic. What brings you to my hatchery? Someone with orders from our commander to destroy this egg. Almost all of the eggs in his clutch have hatched. We await only one more, which is taking its time. Most caretakers would not give the child its fair chance, but I shall. There could be greatness in that shell. You note that the hope in his voice is tinged with weariness. It's the voice of a man who's fought the inevitable for a long time. Not all that arrive late are weak. I created this entire hatchery, despite being the last of my clutch to hatch. They almost drowned me in the hatching pool, if it wasn't for the Vash of my clutch. This one deserves the same chance. You? What do you know about Gith Yankee child rearing? Still, the captain's due for an inspection any day now. And if she sees it here. Tell me, what will you do with it if I entrust it to you? Do you think the Sword Coast is littered with creches? That you found this one was unlikely enough. But you've a spirit about you that's quite inspiring. Perhaps even equal to the challenge. 
I can no longer ignore that Kithrak Thurizen's patience has its limits. Very well. Here. Take these. They will aid your approach to the egg. Battle ready. And it's not even born yet. It smells awful in here. Please come out. Don't mind if I do. Large green egg with an uneven shell. You can see a vague outline of something within it. The egg is warm to the touch, the rough shell like slate beneath your fingers. Whatever is within is stirring ever so slightly. up for discussion there's a paris vertical incision from pineal eye to end of notochord intestinal coloration consistent with samples 231 to 259 do you have a question or are you just going to stand there gawking Nothing your kind is capable of understanding. The better question is, what brings an istic to my infirmary? I have no desire to teach, though your request is understandable. You do not gain true knowledge by demanding it of others. It must be earned. Let's see what knowledge your labors have borne so far. Tell me, what is your understanding of ceramorphosis? Huh. 
I suspected as much. Though I am fascinated that you've retained the ability to lie about it. You aren't the first istic to require my treatment. Though you are the most lucid by some margin. Either your tadpole is special, or you are. We must find out which. Go to the Saithisk. I will ensure you're cured. The apparatus at the top of those stairs. Quickly, now. Time is of the essence. Even Gith Yankee rarely experiences Aethisk. You are very lucky, Istik. A parasite brimming with ma the device is strained, made of taut flesh and pockmarked metal. It waits for something. You feel your parasite stare. Do not fear. My experience in operating this machine is unparalleled. There is nothing on any plane stronger than a Zathis for curing unwanted afflictions. Never stick your head in an extra plane a torture device. A rule to live by. More than ceramorphosis. <laughs> Your body grows cold, its warmth sapped by the cold metal seat. The machine awakens. You must focus on the parasite at all times. The Zathisk will do the rest. Layers of magic weave themselves tightly around your head. The tadpole squirms and contracts. It's trying to hide. You realize the device is hunting your parasite, but it's doing so blindly. Without direction, your faculties could be permanently damaged. Your skull groans and bends under the pressure. Then... Agony. The machine lashes out aimlessly. Your right temple burns, then numbs. Part of you is gone. A part you can no longer recall. <clears throat> An unusually stubborn specimen. Don't let it slip away! This cure looks set to kill you. Get out! The parasite burrows deeper, sinking its teeth into your brain's exposed tissue. It sucks greedily. You feel yourself ebbing away while the parasite only grows stronger. It's evolving. Your limbs are unresponsive, cut off by the device's magic. You can't move. You urge your body from the chair with every fiber of your consciousness. Can't lift so much as a finger. You're hurting. Let me help. The room swims back into focus. Inside your head, you feel a familiar squirm. You escaped, but so did your tadpole. <sighs> Your parasite. 
Her voice cuts with a fanatical edge, an obsession bordering on mania. If there's a chance the parasite lives, she wants it. Really? Then all this destruction was a symptom of its power? <laughs> Incredible. I am disappointed that we could not extract it alive. It would have been an exceptional specimen. In any case, your problem is resolved. Leave me. I must salvage what I can. That was not wise. You were lucky I was there to save you once again. A parasite. Take it. It might be useful. Should have attended the Blackstaff's lectures on Gif Yankee Tear Soup. Why not ask one of the friendly, bloodthirsty warriors? I'm sure they'd be happy to translate. Must have questions. Skra! The Safisk! It might have killed you. I felt your torment. Someone must have tampered with it. An aberrance I can't begin to comprehend. There must be a Sharlak in this crash. A traitor. The sort that is hunted, slaughtered, and erased from our histories. Few would dare dishonor their queen. Fewer still would be so brazen. Now hurry. We must go to the Chirai and inform him of the Zaphisk's tampering. What to do? Never wanted the easy path. I have something to ask. 
To the Inquisitor at the crash. The Zathisk's failure must be reported. Kalir's clutch held three dozen eggs, more or less. Though I've learned of creches that harbored a hundred. Shukiani. Githyanki chosen by Vlakith herself to bear young. The queen assigns when and where they must lay, and how many eggs they must bear. The Shukiani pass their eggs in the material plane. In the astral, time barely passes. It is a meticulous process, carefully timed so that the eggs hatch at once. Humanoid. How I despise the term. Githyanki are quite superior to humans. Our biology slates state that Githyanki came to lay eggs after we escaped a lithid enslavement and took to the astral plane. It's an asexual process, a favorable change by any estimation. Hideous to imagine a life where I couldn't partake in the pleasures of sex without the looming threat of bearing children. Go on then. This is what happens when you trust the Gith. They strap you to a machine and try to kill you. At least there's no permanent damage done, or not too much permanent damage. I suppose time will tell. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. You must have questions. It is done.